So my favorite way of working with configurations and the way that I always like to show students in the SOLIDWORKS Essentials course is to use the Modify Configurations table. Now you can get to that by either right clicking on a dimension and going to Configure Dimension or you can right click on a feature and go to Configure Feature. Either way it's going to take you into the same table here. Now in our Modify Configuration table once we've got the table started, we can just bring more items into it just by double clicking on them. So I can double click these features in the tree. I could also double click on other dimensions in the graphics area and bring them in. Now I can also create new configurations just by clicking in that create a new configuration box and typing in the name of the new configuration that I want to make. So you can quickly see as we start to add more and more configurations, using this table is really powerful and easy because I can see everything that's going to be happening in all of these different configurations and if you've got a part that has maybe a dozen or more configurations you can quickly see how useful this will be now I can go in here and I can suppress the features that I want turned off in the different configurations so if I check the box that's going to suppress that feature in that configuration if I leave it unchecked the feature will be turned on so once I've got everything laid out the way that I want it to be, suppress the, the features and the different configurations that I want turned off, now I can go back, once I've got that, there we go, and I'm going to uh, change the dimension that I originally started this table with. So I can modify that dimension. And now that I've got this laid out, I'm going to save this table view. Now, this isn't for saving the changes that I've made, this is just to give this, this view, this table that I've created, a name, and save it so that I can jump back into this view. And once I've done that, I'm going to hit apply so that those configurations are created and all those adjustments are written down into my part. And there we go. There's the table that I created so I can easily jump back into it. And there's all my configurations. So this is a really great way to be able to have full control over your configurations, especially in a, a part that has a lot of configurations, so that you can easily see everything and know exactly what to expect from the behavior.